Hey guys, and welcome to episode 3. Yes, a couple of you guys wanted to see my face uh, in this one, maybe. Let me know if you want to see my face in the bottom corner down here. We got a lovely little Christmas tree over there, Lick. <laughs> Definitely in the spirit. Anyway, I'm going to be constantly looking down because obviously my laptop screen's there. But anyway, welcome to episode 3. Yes, I have done a bit off camera, guys. Um, as you can see, I've actually made an iron wand as well, which is pretty cool. Um, so I've been playing around with that, and obviously I've been making lava, as you've seen in episode 2. I many this crucible, okay? And I've got a chest here that is just full of loads of cobble, and I can just chuck it in so it melts like that. Pretty easy, really. Chuck that back in. I haven't really done any more of this yet, okay? Um, but this is the biggie. Now, Lister's actually playing this as well. Um, believe it or not. And yes, I have made this, guys. It took forever. Now, I haven't actually tried this. I don't know if this is going to be too OP or too powerful or too big. But basically, guys, I've made a mob grinder. Okay. Uh, yeah, let me look down to here. <laughs> yeah, it goes like 20 something blocks down. Um, I was playing around with the F3 key and obviously you can see it pretty easily. But I'm pretty proud of myself, you know, you guys know me, I'm not, you know, the greatest, but I am I feel like I'm doing okay on this. Um, it's probably a quicker way of getting up and down, but I'm keeping it to what I know. But obviously I made this, and obviously the mobs will fall down here and they'll die. Eventually when I keep sieving, I'm going to be getting iron, so I can, you know, do hoppers. But from what I remember, there's like these things you can collect XP, uh... What was there? It was some like vacuum cleaner thing. I can't really remember off the top of my head. But anyway, it's all lit up. Uh, if I press F8, you can't see anything, any crosses or anything. Um, so that's really good. But I'm still a bit concerned because obviously I'm in a nice plains, right? I don't know if that's going to affect me. But anyway, I'll go back up here. I'll hit F8 again so I get rid of that. Um, and I'm going to just point out to you as well <laughs> that three endermen or four was it i can't remember now it might have been four actually whilst making that actually spawned and i killed him with my you know my skull fire sword and yeah i got a loot bag which i haven't had any yet and i got a load of different um ender stuff but look how many ender bows i got uh yeah i got all that before i haven't honestly done a lot more to be fair guys i've left this as it was i think unless i might have planted some some stuff possibly um but i like, i've tried to keep it as minimal as i can but the main goal of today is turn that mob grinder on and see what actually spawns because i don't really know is there gonna be yetis i i don't know i hope there is i've been thinking there will be um but i've also been making a bit of you know more s towards you know the grout or whatever for this seared bricks um, so I'm going to go and craft some of this now. Um, hopefully that's probably enough, I imagine. Uh, what was the recipe again? Oh my god, I'm going to have to look at it. Grout. Uh, eight. Okay, well, it's just like that. Okay, pretty easy. Well, that's quite a lot now, Dan. <laughs> I think that... What, you can just turn... Did I just see that? I, f I thought you could just... Can you just turn gravel yeah right that that is a great recipe three bits of gravel into a piece of flint love it anyway i am going to cook all these and i wanted to make the tinkerers you know smeltery if you like and get it finished because obviously that's one of my quests if i look here uh start with stone block there so i had to make all of this basically um, it says it incomplete there, but I think that's because it's not in my inventory. I'm not really too sure. Uh, I still need to split this one down a bit. I want to keep it all going. Now, obviously, like I just said at the start, Lister's been playing this as well. And we've been chatting, and he's told me a load of things that I haven't done. And he's found out. Whoa, where's the roof? There it is. <laughs> Whew, that was weird. Um... Oh god, I can hear an Enderman now. He's in there, look. I told you, they keep spawning. What is with these green ones? He's got a hat on. He's got a hat. Press H. 
Yes, I got an angel on my head. Oh, it's not there. Oh, how do, do I have to put done, do I? Yay! <laughs> how stupid's that? Anyway, I got some more stuff there. Great. Um, right. What I'm going to do, guys, is go and grab some buckets and start filling that in, basically, and remove the torches. But I'm tempted before I even go for it. I, I don't know if I should make the hoppers before. How many have I got here? <laughs> Let me just have a look on these quest things a minute. Maybe there's something on storage that I'm missing here. Uh, inscriber. I think that's like a special thing. Black hole unit. Iron storage crate. Quantum tank. Controller. Storage drawer. Compact drawer. Okay, that's all drawers. Uh, this is how you start. No, that's mystical agriculture. That's a big word. Uh, I need to make a rainbow generator. Apparently, a solar panel. No, 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 no. Right. I need to. I want to have a look if there is anything other than hoppers, like I can use to collect things. Basically, I'm sure there is. Uh, there's a hopper there. Oh yes, I need to make a cobblestone generator as well. Um, da -da 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 -da. Ender hopper. What's that? Shift. Doesn't tell you what it does. Shulker pearl. Okay, hopper hook. Hopping bonsai pot. Now this is the thing that um, Lister has told me to make. To get a load of wood. He said it's really good. And someone did mention it in the comments, and I did say about it in episode two, but I completely forgot because there's too much going on here and my brain easily forgets. Um, hopping item interface. What's that? Okay. Well, I'm just going to make hoppers because I just feel like it's probably the best idea for me. So you can actually make hoppers with two logs, which in fairness is the same as a chest because that's eight. Yeah. Right, well, I'll just do it as I know. Um, so, oh, I can make three. Okay. I guess that's a start, right? Uh, well, let's make some chests then and chuck all this away. I'll be back, guys. I'll be back. I'll grab the buckets, get the hoppers made, and yeah, we'll go from there. I might actually keep some ender pearls on me as well so I can get around. I know it's not really exciting to get around yet, but I mean, I can go up the... God, there's spiders! I've never seen a spider yet. Oh, God, there's a skeleton as well. All right, come here, you. He's down. Where did these guys come from? Ah, oh, I see. It's quite dark in here. Uh, but it's not showing it on F8. No, that's the chunk borders. Oh, it's F7, sorry. Okay, I need a torch there. What on earth is that? A skeleton trophy. I got cobwebs, bones, a skeleton skull, loads of arrows. Okay, and a wither skull. Yes, so I was right. The skull fire sword actually makes wither skulls. Wow. Sand. Oh, that's from the. Yeah, okay. I think I'm going down, guys. I'm getting sick. <laughs> I'm joking. As I got spare sand and gravel, I'm just going to sieve it, guys. And hopefully I'll get enough iron to make more hoppers. So let's do that a minute. This is great. I think I've put too many sieves there, haven't I? Oh, well. So from sieving, guys, I've actually got myself some iron. Look, that's nine pieces. And I can actually make one more. Uh, where have I put that there? And I've also collected all these seared bricks. Now, I've got quite a lot, as you can see. Oh, you can actually make them like that. I thought you would be able to. So what I'll do is just make them all into that. And then store them away. I'm sure that is more than enough. Right? <laughs> uh, where have I just put those iron... Oh, there. Look, there they are. Sorry, I'm getting a bit blind here, possibly. But basically, I can make two more hoppers with what I've got. Uh... And there we go, I got two more hoppers, finally. Took me a while. Now, I also forgot, guys, that I had these punjai sticks. I hope that's how you pronounce them. Now, I'm 
I tested this, and if I place it down, I actually walk in it. I get slowness, as you can see in the corner, and it does damage me quite a lot. So, I'm guessing you... <laughs> the age of a governor. I'm guessing that you can use that on the mob killing machine, mob grinder I've made. Um, so, what I'm going to do is actually try that out and place all these hoppers down there. Um, oops, I must have hit the chunk thing. Oh my god, there we go. Now, I'm going to eat some epic bacon. And I can't be bothered to climb down a ladder, so I'm just going to throw that. <laughs> Ouch. Right, so I got five hoppers. Oh no, oh, I did bring my pickaxe, thank god for that. Um, let's get rid of that. And... Let's think about this a minute. I think if I put... I, uh, double chest, it's just going to get full up, right? It Honestly, it is. I know it is. It's going to get full up. I, c I feel like this is going to be an awesome mob grinder. And I'm not being big-headed, but I've made it huge. And if if things are spawning in, see how like that spider and that skeleton spawn? And look how light it was, if you know what I mean. I don't know. I feel like this is going to be pretty good. Um, I... I can't obviously put all hoppers there yet for a minute. Um, yeah. I need to put a brick back there a minute so I can put that in there. Ooh. There we go. No, I stupidly didn't bring any chests, did I? Whatever. Uh, I got some cobble. I am going to have to put stone back because I'm, I'm getting a bit OCD on this uh, Java edition. I don't know what is wrong with me. No, I, I need to leave that actually, don't I? Because that's obviously going to be for chests situation. Um, now these punjai stick things. Um, what I'm going to do is just put five of these like that then, I guess. And they kind of like link up. That's quite cool. Uh, obviously the chest will go there. And that is that. Now I should cover this up so they can't get me. Ooh, it's pretty dark in there, isn't it? Now, saying things can spawn in there, which is cool. I love this F7, F7, Dan, not F8 <laughs> feature. Now, I might just leave that, and hopefully things will just die. Um, I'm, I'm going to have to climb up this, and I, yeah, the, the gate's shut anyway. <laughs> ah, I'll be back. Should grab two water buckets. Um... I'm going to have to leave that for like that for a minute and break that. Obviously the water is going to go here. Um, I'm going to do this one now and I should be able to pick up that. Yeah. Perfect. Right, I'm going to go around and break all these. I've made this free high on purpose so endermen spawn because I noticed that green enderman guy keeps spawning. So I thought, why the hell not, right? Makes sense. Um... So I'll be back in a minute, guys. I'll f oh my god, I hate that noise. My angel in my head. I'll be back in a minute, and hopefully it'll be finished. We'll see. We'll go down the bottom, shall we? See what happens. <laughs> that should be it, guys. <laughs> oh my god. It's like a wireframe map. Oh, it's so cool. Anyway, let's block it off, and hopefully things are going to spawn. I'm quite scared. Have I made this right? Right. Let's... Let's check. Is there going to be red dots? Let's just go in here and pretend I'm sieving. <laughs> oh. There's a red dot, I think. Oh, yeah, look. There's red dots. Where's Jay? There, look. Whoa. You can see him moving. They're obviously falling down the water. <laughs> oh, like, this is great. And I think he's died. There's one there, look. Does it tell me what they are? No. Oh, that is awesome, man. Okay. Well, let's go down and put the chest down. Otherwise, I'm not going to get anything, am I? Oh, it's a zombie. I can hear it. Um. <laughs> okay, he's actually been affected by that. Um, what do you call it? Uh, what was it? Slowness, I think it was. All right. Obviously, that didn't pick up. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, my God. He's got some loot bags already. <laughs> a lever. Where the hell did that come from? Okay. That's cool, man. 
That is cool. I could pick up these corner bits anyway. That's pretty good actually. Pretty good. All right. Well, that's cool. I can leave that to its do its thing, I guess, and just come back and check it whenever I want. Pretty proud of that. Um, but I actually just remembered. <laughs> I was going to craft some fans. That's actually... I'm going to have to go and do that. I wanted to craft some fans because I seem to remember from playing Sky Factory a long time ago. Oh my god, it's a bit scary getting in here. Uh, let me torch I've got 33. I want to craft some fans, actually. Oh my god, look at his eyes! <laughs> what the hell is that? Okay, he's dead. What happened to your eyes, dude? Now, I wanted to put some fans, like one here... One here, you know, all the way around to push the mobs because obviously they spawn on these platforms. Obviously, it will help, I think. So, I'm actually going to go and do that. Now, if I actually look at a fan, don't think it was that hard to make. Yeah, iron again, stone slab, and iron bars. Iron bars is quite expensive. So, I'm going to need how many am I going to need here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight fans. Eight iron nuggets, uh, iron ingots, sorry. Plus six is a total of 14. Yes, we're doing maths with Dan now. Um, okay, that makes sense. 14 nuggets. Uh, wow, chunks I need. Now, I better go and get smashing up some cobblestone then, aren't I? Let's put torches here as well, apparently. Is that it? Yeah. Oof. Yes, perfect. What is this actually like? Oh, do you need redstone to power it? Oh dear. How do you power the thing? <laughs> Hang on. Maybe I can craft uh, levers, right? Um, lever. Put the fan. Yeah. Right, that's good. <laughs> You need redstone to power it. Okay, fair enough. Well, I'll make 14 levers as well then. I want to just check actually, before I make any more of these, how far do these actually push? Like, what's the radius on them? Oh, it's quite far. Okay. Well, surely I've got enough. Surely that's enough. Right, let's just go. Let's just try it, guys. What we got to lose? <laughs> That's pushing me there. And check that one on. So if a, sp a mob spawns here, they're nothing. But if they start walking, they kind of get pushed. Does that push you in the whole area? Yes. Possibly I might put one in the corner then? Yeah. Right, okay, cool. Let's do it. It actually pushes items as well. I didn't realise that. So if I, for example, throw that, it gets slid across. That's pretty cool, man. That's a very interesting game mechanic. I like that a lot. That's pretty cool, man. But I need to go make one more fan because I ain't got enough for my corner one otherwise. Um... So let's do that quickly. Uh, I only need a bit of gravel, I imagine. We'll just sift the whole thing. It's good that iron's the most common, because otherwise it would take forever, wouldn't it? Cool, we got our final fan. Oh my god, tree grew in front of me. Oh god, it's happening already. He's got a hat on. <laughs> There's a creeper with googly eyes. Oh my god. That was so random. Why do they get googly eyes? It's funny though, isn't it? Right, is that spider? Yeah, yeah, I didn't, I didn't think about the cactus thing. Now I'm gonna have to grow that cactus. Right, he's a goner now anyway. Um, and place that in the middle so they die. Or I should have put a punjai stick maybe. Anyway, let's do this. Get rid of you. Come here. There we go. All right, close it up. Oh no, have I got rid of all my stone? No. Nope. Close it up, Dan. There we go. Cool. That is fully automatic now, then. I don't have to do anything. Uh, I could make one more hopper, but I'm not going to. Right. 
Next, I just want to in investigate the actual smeltery thing. So I'm going to... I don't know what I'm going to need for this. The pickaxe, I would presume. But the other bits, I'm just going to get rid of because it's just going to annoy me. Um, I'm just going to place all these bits here. I'll keep the talisman because that's handy. I might keep the builder's wand as well. That, I don't really need the lever or sapling. Just chuck them in there. Right, well, let's go on here and have a look at what, what we got to do. So I need a casting table. Let's have a look. At, well, I could just do at tinkers, right? And it should pop up with all these bits. Is this all of it? Yeah. So a casting table. Ah, I shouldn't have turned them all into bricks. Okay, so that's like leggings. Uh, where's the rest? Casting table. Okay, right. Can I turn these back? Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. I don't think I can. No. What happens if I try and smelt that? Oh my god, you can smelt it back, can you? Huh? What's this gonna do? <laughs> ah. Cracks here, brick. Okay, not really what I want. Whoops, I made a bit of a boo boo there, haven't I? Oh dear. I thought that you would have to use them for everything. Oopsie. Oops. Well, I guess I can make the outline, I presume. But that's a lot of bricks, Dan. Ooh, torch. That's why this series is called the Java Noob, right? I should have known that if I played modded. Um, anyway, let's build a outline of this as I got the bricks now. I think I'm going to go pretty huge here. I'm going to fill in the bottom as well. I can't remember if you have to do this or not. Um, my dog wants to uh, come up to me. Hello. What are you doing? I want to play Minecraft. I want to play Minecraft. Anyway, go on. Leave me alone for a minute. I'm just playing. Um, yeah. I guess I can just... I'm going to mine all this out and fill it in. I, I think you have to do that to kind of like activate it. I'm not 100% sure. But I'm going to do it. Because I feel like you have to. I'm only going to go for too deep as well. I don't even know if I've got... That's cracked, right? Hang on a minute. Have I actually got enough to put this too deep? Uh, let's punch out this one. Oh yeah, hang on a minute. What happens if I hammer it? Where's my hammer? No, don't throw it on the ground. Hey, nothing. <laughs> Okay, it is solely stuck into a brick now. Well, that's a shame, man. That is a shame. I'm not seeing loads of red dots on my uh, map, by the way. I've seen a few, but not loads. Well, I'm going to have to go on an absolute mission again to get quite a lot of these bricks. But to be fair, you get one brick per grout. Um, yeah, it's... Um, I think I might have overestimated how much grout you actually need for this. Especially when you're doing it on a giant scale like me. <laughs> Whoops. Let's just go and check my drops a minute. See how this is going. Now I had nothing in the chest a minute ago, so I'm hoping that there's some stuff in there. Hopefully. Okay, so stuff's actually flying around because it's not being... There's actually blood on these sticks. That is quite weird. 
Oh, I've got some yellow bag. A legendary loot bag. Oh my god. Chris, can I get any more luckier? Anyway, the chest is full of it. Absolutely full of it. Listen to that. What on earth was that? How many spiders just fell down? A blaze! What the hell is there a blaze doing here? Alright, well this works when I'm down here then, doesn't it? Okay, I need to go AFK. Like, possibly here then, I presume? Oh my god. Blazes fall down. Uh, are they normal blazes or are they like some weird icy blaze? Blaze powder. Blaze rod chicken. Uh, okay. I've been looking into this chicken thing. That's cool, man. I'm going to be breeding chickens, I think. Um, I'm a bit, that's a bit weird, man. I did not know there was blazes. Oh my god. So this works really well, though. I'm pretty shocked at myself. I've managed to pull that off. Um, I could get rid of that, actually, can't I? I could actually light that up, to be fair. I wonder if a torch... Can't put torches on them. I could put one on the hopper, look. So we can actually see what's going on. Maybe I could find out if that was a blaze or if it was like a snow version. I haven't got any blaze powders, have I? So... I don't know if that was just like a snow version. Now, what can you get in these loot bags? So there's a common, an uncommon, rare, epic, and legendary. Um, there we go. Oh, I can get some worms. <laughs> um, okay. What on earth was that sound? I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Damn. What on earth was that sound, though? Jesus. Uh, uncommon. Okay. Cool. You can get some chance. <laughs> Isohexidrons. Uh, I can get the iron wand. Okay, you can get some pretty good stuff from these. An emerald <laughs> chest plate. Uh, you can get some of those chance cubes. <laughs> Growth Crystal Tier 2, a Diamond Sword, Cow in a Jar, oh my god, the legendary one's epic, you get Diamond Armor, some more Chance Cubes. Okay, well, these are like, pretty easy to get to be fair, I must admit, pretty OP stuff. Um, now, I seem to remember, but I might be wrong here, because I just looked there, but I don't think you can. But I thought you could combine these or something. Oh, they don't even stack, which is quite annoying. Can you actually do this? No, you can. I thought you could combine them. Oh, loot recycler. Iron it. What does this do? Press. This block is capable of converting items that drop from loot bags into more loot bags. It will save the, its contents when broken. So it's just stone. <laughs> I'm going to go make that. I'm going to craft it, because that, my my chest is going to get full because of them, which I pro presume that is probably supposed to be doing that, right? Well, this is definitely 100% working, um, very happy with that. Poor Enderman. <laughs> That's pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. I'm happy I got this legendary one. I'll open that at the end of the video. Um, anybody up here is there? Well, let's go make this a loot bag recycler. I've got a couple more there, look. Right, so I think it was a chest, uh, the iron, was that right? Possibly just one. And some stone around the outside like that. There we go. Loot recycler. How the hell does this thing work? Uh, I'm just gonna have to put that cobble, that torch in there. Oh, right, okay. So it's got its own GUI thing. So we just put that in. Okay. This block is capable of converting items that can drop from loot bags into more loot bags. It will save its contents when broken. If I shift click that, it doesn't work. That's weird. Do I throw them on there? 
No, that's a huge tap bag. Loop generator. I'm a bit confused with that. Am I being a bit stupid here? This plot is capable of converting item. Do I need to power this as well? Possibly, you know, I might have to power that. With like a furnace or something. No. Normally, if I break that with that, yeah. Does it not say on it? It needs our... Oh no, I haven't picked it up. Doesn't say anything. This bot is capable of converting items that can drop from loot bags into... Maybe I just chuck it in the chest with... Maybe that's how it works. I'm slightly confused here. Maybe you got to, like, put it in the chain of hoppers and it filters them out. Is that what it does? Mob farm. <laughs> Oh yeah, that was a quest! I completely forgot about it. That's why I actually made it in the first place. <laughs> Create a mob farm. Okay. I'm slightly confused, guys. Can you help me in the comments section? What am I doing there? That is super weird, man. you got to make two fans. Iron spikes and an item collector. I wish I knew that before. I don't really understand what's going on with this loot bag thing. Yeah, if you guys know, let me know in the comments section. I'm guessing I need to put that into a hopper now. There it is, I've got the hopper. Right. Put that there. There's blood everywhere, it's so random. Oh my god. Right, he's died. There's some freaky noises, man. What are these freaky noises? Yes, it's an ice blaze or something. Did you see that? Maybe I've got lucky, actually. Anyway, we've got a hopper. Um... The ice blazes that are making those sounds, I think. I think I've worked it out. Nope. 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 Yay! Right. So if I put that there and that there. Go down one. Is this going to work now? Right, he's got nothing in him. Getting a bit confused here, guys. It's a problem with this. I've got to learn as I go, kind of thing. Um, where's that chest? There it is. No. Right. I This is just a test, guys. I'm not leaving this like this, by the way. <laughs> now what happens? Now. They're not going in there, are they? That is 100% connected to that, right? <laughs> Yeah, they're not going in. I don't understand this at all. Stored loot value. It's done something because there's obviously something in it. If I break that, it's gone in there, right? Weird stuff, man. Weird stuff. Anyway, if you know, just let me know in the comment section because I'm slightly confused with that. I really am. I've tried everything. Unless you need to power it with actual power. And I'm just being a, a bit of a, an idiot or something. Um, yes. Well, I've kind of wrecked my uh, bit of farm there, haven't I? I'll leave it like that anyway. And... Once this video's out and stuff, if you guys know, obviously let me know. Um, hang on a minute, I'm gonna actually have a look at an item collector. Collector, there you go. Oh my god, that is so easy to make. Why did I not make that? Advanced item collector. An ender pearl, a hopper, and some obsidian. Uh, information. Advanced item collector. Okay. The item collector is placed on an, on inventories and will collect any items in a free block radius around it 
into that inventory. <sighs> Should have made that, guys. <laughs> I don't even need iron then, did I? I knew there would be something. Oh, man. Right, this has turned into a bit of a rubbish episode because I've kind of messed up everything. Thinking I know what I'm doing, but obviously I don't. Um, to be fair, I need to get grinding again now. And I've kind of run out of time, to be fair. So, oh well, we've done the mob spawner, I guess. I need to fix that. And I'm going to probably make this off camera. Because, basically, I just need to craft a load of bits. It's not that difficult, is it? But I need grout again. Um, so what I'll do, I'll make it. We'll have a look at that on episode 4 at the start. And, yeah, I need to make a cobblestone generator, obviously. Got all this lava just sat there. But that is actually going to go in there eventually. Um, but anyway, I said I would open this. Um, I'm going to clean out my hot bar a bit. Oh, I've got a spare chest here. Let's just chuck all these in here. And that would probably help me. Go. Uh, still a lot there. I can't believe they don't stack, but there's probably a reason for that, because uh, otherwise you would just have millions, wouldn't you? Um, right. I got this, and I got this to open, guys. So let's do it. I've got some diamond boots. I've got some overgrowth seed. And a growth crystal tier 3. Fastest growth. Wow. Works in a 9 by 5 Check it up to... Can be used as a water source. Sponges can not be placed around. Right. Oh. Okay, you have to actually take it. Cover me with diamonds. Okay. And what have we got here? Greater reward of an overclocker upgrade and a transformer upgrade. Okay. Upgrades for stuff. Well, I got some lovely shiny diamond boots. I'll put them on, and that growth crystal is actually going to go in there because it says it replaces water. Um, can you like stack these? There we go. It has no definition of anything. But this is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can actually extend this out as well um, to here because it's a nine by nine, right? So Sweet. Yeah, and it's working. Look, it's fertilizing it. <laughs> right, guys, I'm going to end it there. Thanks so much for watching. That's the end of episode three of the Java Noob. Please let me know if you know anything about that loot crate recycling thing, because I'm really confused with that. But anyway, I hope that you like my little face cam in the corner. I don't know if I'll keep it forever. We'll see. Depends if you like it or not. Probably, because it's better for reactions, I guess. Um, anyway, thanks very much. Bye!